guys, how's it going? Angus here. Welcome back to Maker's Muse. So today we're going to be going through the artistic weirdness that is uh, the Make Pattern tool in Mesh Mixer. So it's something I wouldn't really normally use, but lately I have, have actually found some practical uses for it. So I'd like to show you uh, how it works, how to use it, and how you can actually get some actual functional results out of it. Alright, so fire at Mesh Mixer, and we want to grab the bunny. So this is the stock standard bunny that Mesh Mixer sort of shows you on the start screen. And it's great for testing out the different functions in Mesh Mixer. So you want to go to edit and make pattern. So make pattern is really strange and initially it sort of looks like why would you even use this? It It's extremely powerful though. It, it applies a pattern of different shapes or primitives to your STL mesh or OBJ mesh and will then subtract that shape away uh, or add to it, depending on what you want to choose, uh, to result in a very, very strange uh, resulting mesh. So let's just go to the stock standard here. It starts with the tile tubes. You can choose how many you want. So sort of how big they are, how small they are, how spaced they are. So obviously less spacing gives you more of them. And then you can choose to clip to the surface and subtract their shapes away or you can choose to just add them into uh, general space. So let's try clipping it to the surface of the bunny, subtracting it away. And so that's what our, that's what's happened to our bunny, let's accept that. We've now got a bunny just packed full of holes and it's very easy and quick to make very artistic strange things using this tool. So you might be saying, okay Angus, that's all well and good and very nice and artistic, but what practical use does this tool actually serve? And what I want to show you is a little sort of technique I've been working on to produce honeycombed parts using SLS that lets you create, create very strong parts with a honeycomb structure inside that are very light and cost you less because they've got lots less plastic in them. So we'll start with the bunny. It's actually a bit small. Its stock size is actually a bit too small for what I want to do. So you want to just make it a bit bigger first. So you want to go to analyze units and dimensions and just make it 100 mil high. Yeah, 50 is a bit too small. Cool, so we've got a 100 mil high bunny. Go to view and show objects browser. And we want to duplicate our bunny. And the reason we're doing that is because you want the outside to be a skin. And we want the inside to be a lattice structure. So bunny number one will be the skin. So to do that, use the hollow tool. So go to hollow. And for SLS, 2 mil is fine. So 2 mil, update, and that looks good to me, so accept, and let me just double, doubly make sure that it has done what I want, so plain cut, and you can see it's got a hollow. So that's our outside. So let's just hide that for now and go to the copy, which we'll be using to make our honeycomb structure inside. So go to the make pattern tool. And the honeycomb structure I find that works best is tiled spheres with a rec regular grid. We want to clip to surface and uh, the sizing is a bit trial and error, it depends on your part. Um, let's just try, let's try 20 and maybe eight, 18. Let's see how that goes. I, again, you'll be going back and forth here to see what works best. That's a pretty coarse honeycomb. It's not really what I want. Uh, so let's try maybe 12 and 11, maybe. Whatever, give it a go. Sick. Okay, that's bit better. So it actually has sort of a creepy bone-like quality to it, which I sort of really like. And you can see there's a lot of empty space in there, which means that's where the powder will come free and you'll have uh, hollow, you know, hollow parts. So that's good. Let's accept that. And we've got our weird honeycombed bunny. So we need to combine these two now. And this is where it sort of falls over itself sometimes. Boolean Union should be the tool to use. It should be you know, able to just combine these nicely, but it sort of tends to freak out and use a lot of power. So I think for this, we want to do combine, which doesn't really do anything. It just 
makes the two STL bodies in one, but it hasn't actually, hasn't actually st sort of stitched them together yet. To do that, we want to use the Make Solid tool, and it's kind of a cheat. It will edit the surface of the STL a little bit, but it it doesn't glitch and break as much as the Boolean Union. So I'm just going to do you know, ac accurate, ramp it up a little bit, update. Cool. All right, so we've got our bunny that's been combined uh, with the shell and the honeycomb inside with the made solid tool. So just to show you that it's done what we wanted, go to edit and plain cut. And you can see that it's got this awesome honeycomb inside, but it's got a solid shell outside. So obviously you need the powder to get out somehow once it's SLS printed. So we might just uh, punch a hole through him. So you want to go to mesh mix. Grab a cylinder, drop them in there, and then, yeah, that's fine, whatever, you want to subtract it away, accept. And it's punched a hole through the bottom, so the powder, once it's printed in SLS, can come out. And that's pretty much it. We've got a bunny that's going to be lighter than a solid print, but pretty much just as strong, because it's got the honeycomb structure inside. And you can do this to any engineering part. Just save it as an STL or OBJ, drop it into Mesh Mixer, and do those steps. So you do the shell, then you copy it, and then you do the, the Make Pattern tool, play around a bit with it, then combine them with the Make Solid tool. And that's about it. So that's the Make Pattern tool in Mesh Mixer. Obviously a really powerful tool, and ways you can use it, both artistic and functional. And I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. I'd love it if you want to subscribe if you haven't already. I really enjoy making these videos for you. And I'll see you here soon on Maker's Muse. Thanks, guys. Bye.